The New York Times says that Megyn Kelly's memoir has new information about her strained relationship with Donald Trump. The Fox News anchor documents how the president-elect acted toward her throughout the 2016 campaign. Jamie Yukas is here with an early look inside the memoir that goes on sale next week. Jamie, good morning. Good morning, Gail. These new details written by Kelly in her memoir and released early by the New York Times provide more context in the Kelly-Trump relationship, concerns about debate questions, and how the Fox News anchor came down with an illness on debate day. Mr. Trump. Hi. Hello. How you doing? Nice to be with you, Meg. The friction between Fox News anchor Megyn Kelly and President-elect Donald Trump has been well documented. According to a New York Times review of Kelly's memoir, she writes that Trump was upset prior to the first Republican primary debate in 2015, phoning Fox executives saying he heard the first question was a very pointed question directed at him. Folks are starting to worry about Trump, she writes. Yes, it was his first debate, but this was bizarre behavior, especially for a man who wanted the nuclear codes. You've called women you don't like fat pigs, dogs, slobs, and disgusting animals. Honestly, Megan, if you don't like it, I'm sorry. I've been very nice to you, although I could probably maybe not be based on the way you have treated me. According to the New York Times, Kelly also alleges Trump threatened her with social media after taking issue with the segment on her Fox show. She claims he said, quote, I almost unleashed my beautiful Twitter account against you, and I still may. You know, she, she gets out and she starts asking me all sorts of ridiculous questions. And, you know, you could see there was blood coming out of her eyes. Uh, blood coming out of her wherever. Prior to his candidacy, Kelly also writes Trump made an effort to shape her news coverage by offering a trip to his Mar-a-Lago resort and picking up the tab at one of his hotels. Kelly says she declined, something she alluded to in an interview with Charlie Rose. Some think about this and they look at it and they say, why her? I think it's very clear to him that he cannot control the editorial on my show or from me in a debate or other Just setting. Just that. That's all it is. I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to speculate beyond that. According to the Times Review, Kelly also describes an odd moment the morning of the first GOP primary debate in which her driver insisted on getting her a coffee. She says she declined, but he persisted, and later when she drank it, she became violently sick about 15 minutes later. Apparently, the incident rattled her enough that she mentioned it to Roger Ailes and a lawyer. But late last night, Kelly responded to the Times Review on Twitter saying, I believe the reason I got sick the day of the first debate was I contracted a stomach virus. In another tweet, she said that her book also does not suggest Trump had any debate questions in advance, nor do I believe that he did. Josh. Jamie, thanks.